today, I was just thinking to myself, I'm a senior in high school. I got one year left. I just got to make it till May and then I'm done. I'm, I just got to make it till May of 2025 and then I'm done. I just have to suffer until then and then I won't have to go to school anymore and I won't have to sit in class six hours a day. And I caught myself thinking that just now. But then I re-evaluated that thought. I thought to myself, okay, once I make it to May of 2025, I'm gonna be done with school. I'm gonna be done with IB because I'm in this accelerated program for high school. It's called IB. I'm gonna be done with high school, but I'm gonna move on to college. And then I'm gonna think to myself, oh, I just need to make it till this next year. And then I could finally enjoy my life. I could finally enjoy my time. And I kept on thinking like, there's not a single point in your life where you're not gonna be a waiting for this period of time. Because once you get a job, once you get your job, okay, you're gonna be thinking, I can't wait till my two week vacation that I get, my two weeks off. And then once you're in your job, you're gonna be like, I can't wait till I retire. It's gonna be like a never ending cycle. And I think the solution to this is to stop setting destinations for yourself. You're never gonna reach a point where you're gonna be like, okay, yeah, I'm happy now. You're never gonna be fully happy in your life because there's always gonna be something else. Once you get like a million dollars, you're gonna be like, okay, I can have more, I want more, because I wanna buy that house, that's $10 million. And then once you have that $10 million house, it's just gonna be, uh, you want that $20 million house. Maybe you're the type of person who is happy with less, that's good. But in general, you're always going to want more in life. So we have to view life as a journey, not a destination. There's no destination in life. You're always going to be moving. There will never be a point in your life, whether it's your career or graduating from college or achieving something like becoming the valedictorian of your class, that you're going to be like, wow, I'm a different person. You're never going to feel like you're a different person. I was talking to... Uh, the president of this large club at in my state, in my state of Florida. Like he's the president of this club of maybe 50,000 people and it's the school club. And he told me once he became president and once he started giving all these speeches at the events in front of like thousands of people, he didn't feel like a different person. He felt like the same man. And that really struck me because it really proves my point. It's not like, it's not like once you have a certain position, once you become a doctor, once you become a lawyer, that your whole life will just switch. It'll just become better. You're gonna be the same person that you are before. Since most of you watching me are probably students in high school or college, I'd give you this advice. Stop waiting for the next summer. Stop waiting for the next winter break or Thanksgiving break. Just enjoy your life. Enjoy every single day of your life. Make every single day enjoyable that you can look forward to. For example, I mean, I'm in school right now, but that doesn't mean I don't go to the gym. That doesn't mean I don't meet my friends. That doesn't mean that I don't interact with people. The truth is that you don't have a lot of time on this earth. Every single day is essentially your life because you might die tomorrow. And what is your life made up of? Your life is made up of years. And what are years made up of? They're made up of months. And months are made up of days. Every single day is your life. That's how you gotta think about it. You won't change in a year, you won't change in a decade. You'll change throughout days. Days are what you'll change throughout the most. My name is Forrest Faisal. Think big, I'm out. And follow the Instagram down below and subscribe.